Hey y'all, it's the Costume Jeweler. We are at Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. This is in town and country, Florida. I went the first time to the one in Tampa, Florida. And if you want to check out that video, it had the last I checked 77,000 views. And that was called Designer Purses Galore, a first look at a new thrift store. If you want to check out that video and you'll see what I'm talking about, I'm hoping when we go in here, they have just as many purses and jewelry as they did in Tampa. Now in Tampa, I didn't get to show you the high end jewelry that was behind the purse counter or the high-end purses that was behind the jewelry counter. Uh, but in here, hopefully, we do get to see that today. So check out that video. Let's go in here and look for purses, jewelry, knickknacks, whatnots, doodads, and trinkets. To pack up for resale on YouTube and eBay, so make sure you hit that notification bell and click all so you don't miss out on my live buy nows and daily uploads like this. Hit a thumbs up for this video. And also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Let's go in this huge store and see what they've got. But yeah, this per and this place is cash only. So if you come to a red, white, and blue, it's cash only. And look how big this store is. Oh, you do? Look how big the store is. There's purses on top of all of these counters like this. Purses on top of all of these counters. And then behind the jewelry counter over there. Look over there. Higher in there. Not that Dooney is not higher end. Look at this beautiful bag right here. So red, white, and blue thrift store. I have to say it's probably my favorite thrift store. Seriously. So again, look at this bag. Looks like brand new condition. There's not even a stain on the outside of it. Look at that. Wow. And I'm not sure what ticket is half off today. I'm going to have to ask. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We'll take a look at some of them in detail, some of them not so much. Just depends. Is this what I think it is? Looking for that designer tag. Oh, wow. Y'all, this is Tory Burch. This is a Tory Burch. Look at this. I'm gonna pass on it though, and you're gonna hate me for it. Fifty-nine dollars. Fifty-nine. They know what they're doing in here. Tease, teasing, teasing. That's a big, beautiful duffel. Teasers. Oh, I love this store so much, y'all. And is this a real Louis or not? Look at this, y'all. gorgeous ain't it y'all are like I don't care if it's a real Louis or not <laughs> you're like whether it's a real Louis or not I don't care get it get it get it get it look at that gorgeous bag even if it is not real and looking at the hardware on the inside it's not real but I don't care it's real pretty this is beautiful. So if you're wanting to carry one that's not real, look at that. We're gonna carry this one around and think about it. That's just too gorgeous, y'all. It's just too gorgeous and it is real. Let's look at the inside. So the inside of this tote is gorgeous. To me, it reminds me of summer, the ocean, and it's in excellent condition. So we are gonna pack this one up. So I looked at the inside. It is all Mark Dooney inside, but it's just too great of condition. So we are going to take this beautiful bag home with us. Y'all will see it on a future show or on eBay. I don't think that this would actually fit in my light box too well. Here is another Tory Birch. Another beautiful Tory Birch. Look at that. I'm telling you, just bring plenty of cash when you come in because they don't take any credit or anything like that. Only cash, so be prepared because I think when you come in here, you can't help but spend money. It's impossible. 
Oh my god, you got this. I'm just, okay. This is not real. $34. Look at this right here. I don't believe it's real, not for that. But I'm not an expert yet either. But I'm not thinking it is. Got a lot of marks on it, $34. I know that people would say that's your first clue, but you never know when you might find something, but it's not. It's not even marked Hermé inside. Not even marked inside. What is this beautiful little red bag here? Look at this one. Looks like patent leather. Is it gonna surprise us with a great name? Let's see. I don't see anything, but isn't that beautiful? I love shopping with y'all. Did I already say that? Ted Baker. We know old Ted Baker London's a good one. Good brand. So Ted Baker London, problem with this one is it's got a lot of wear to it. So while it's cheap, I think I'm gonna pass on it. Let me look at the inside though. Yeah, we'll pass on that one. Look at this one right here though. So this looks like a camera bag, but you could tote it as a purse, or is it a purse? I don't know. Is that a vintage purse? Very cool, a little bit of staining. This may be a purse, y'all tell me in the comments below. So it's crossbody, or a handbag. We're gonna look at the inside of it too to see what it says. Top grade genuine cowhide. So this is a camera bag. There's not a, oh, look at this. Look at this right here, it's made in England. Let me show you. Cheney, England. You could use that as a purse possibly, maybe. I don't know, it's awful big. I'll have to Google lens that beautiful bag and see what it says or what comes up. So look how big this store is. I'm not kidding when I say it's huge and the camera does not even do justice for the square footage. They don't have as many purses behind the counter though as the one in Tampa. Now is this leather? I've never heard of this brand before. I'm gonna show you up close. Know nothing about it, hoping it's leather. It's a cute duffel for someone. On the inside, it doesn't look fancy or anything. It's not leather, but it's still cute for somebody. So in addition to the purses on top of the shelves, they should have, ooh, Carl Lagerfeld. They should have one. They should have some purses hanging up somewhere. Look at this. Still, this is designer purse heaven this time. I'm not kidding. Before I called the video designer purse galore, but this is designer purse heaven. Now look at this bag, it's a good looking bag. Let's see what the bottom looks like. This has been taken care of. We need to look at the inside though to see what it looks like. So the inside is a little dingy, the outside looks good, but it's a little dingy on the inside, so we're gonna pass on it for that reason. Otherwise, it is a good looking Coral Lagerfeld. Never seen this brand before. What is that on there? Never seen this brand before, but I'm gonna show you on the inside, not the inside, but I'm CB Chloe. Let me zoom in on that. So here's the brand for this one. First time, never heard of that. Looks in good condition. Shoulder bag, leather's in good condition, barely needs any cleaning. Straps in good condition, let's take a look at the inside. The interior of this bag's ex excellent condition, doesn't even have an ink stain in it, so that is a win-win for somebody. Do y'all know anything about this brand here? Brand new. Good looking bag, don't know anything about it. What is this yellow one here? I can't wait to look at the whatnots too, but I do love the purses. $12.99, white tag, a little bit of scruff there on the side. This does feel like it might be real leather. We're gonna take a look at the inside, see if it has a designer mark of any kind. And it does, it's Banana Republic, so a good brand. That's only $12.99. Looks like it's new, because there's still um, on the strap, there's plastic. 
You got that rub right there though, I just don't know, it's a scratch. This would make for a cute trinket box. And there's the inside of it, isn't that cute? We're gonna probably be in here a while, but we're gonna go look for the purses on the wall. I don't know where they are yet. And then we're gonna look at, around at the whatnots and things like that because they've got lots of those and I don't want to miss out on something great. Tons of bicycles, look at that. Furniture, all kinds of home decor. This place is crazy huge. We're not getting out of here, are we? So these are color coded pretty much. We're gonna look through pretty quick, but at the same time, we don't wanna miss anything. So again, red and white and blue, red, white and blue thrift store. I'm just gonna say it's my favorite. Luciana Verde, red, white and blue is my favorite. And I'm gonna say that. And guess what I don't see a lot of in here? Rosetti. Jessica Simpson, I don't see any Rosettis. She doesn't get to hide in the store. But look at these. Look at this row of purses right here. Look at all this. Is that not crazy? Look at all that. They're everywhere. They are everywhere. So we're gonna look at them. Ooh, come on now, come on now. No. She tried to disguise herself as a Coco Chanel. It didn't pass muster though. It did not, did it? Y'all weren't fooled by that. Y'all weren't fooled by that. Excess. So they do try to keep their name brands behind the jewelry counter. And they've got them also hanging up. I mean, not hanging up, possibly hanging up here. But they have them. Um, that's Jessica Simpson. We already saw that one. They could have some out here too, though. At the other one, I found a lot of great ones hanging up. At the other one, I mean the Tampa location. This is in town and country. So close to Tampa. Here's a cute Kate Spade. Look at little Kate here. She's a little bit of a, a little bit of a beauty there. Little Kate Spade. On the inside, you've got the, um, looks like newspaper. What is this one? So I don't know about the Kate Spade. I don't know that I want it. I don't think I want it. Utility. We are looking for a treasure is what we're looking for. Y'all know that already though. Y'all know that. Let's see what this one is. Michael Kors, yes, I do pass on some of those. I don't buy every Michael Kors I see because of certain different reasons. Just depends. But yep, I did pass on that Michael Kors. You just never know. You never know. What is this one right here? I'm liking the strap of it. Let's see what this is. Let's see if this is anything special. Is this anything special? Oh, it's a Michael Kors. It's a little bit dirty on the inside, but a Michael Kors. Look at that. And we are passing on that one too, but it's a cute Michael Kors. Not a big fan of the condition of the inside, so for that reason I pass. Another Michael Kors hidden back here. Michael Kors, I'm starting to see a lot more of. Is this an old coach? 
I am seeing a lot more Michael Kors. Looks like somebody took real good care of this purse. Bottom has a little bit of issues. Like my leather bags, if I can find real leather. Wow, this store right here is gonna take the rest of our day and I'm okay with that. Because there's too many good things and I can't wait to get y'all to the jewelry too to look through it together. Another coach, that one's 149. Cork bag. Let's see if there's anything hidden, 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 hidden. I saw something I wanted to look at. I'm telling you, it's easy to miss things too. It's not a dooney, looks like it. Not a coach either. We're looking though, we're looking. We are digging. Totes, I thought I saw something here that I wanted to look at. This is it. Gianni Bernini on the other one. What is this one right here? This looks like it'd be wrapped up like a hobo. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Zippers. Look at that. French. Edie and Anye. Here's a fossil. A big old fat fossil. Fossil duffel. That's a cute one though. I don't know if I want that or not. So look at this beautiful bag here. What do y'all think about this one? I mean, the leather seems in good condition. A little leather cleaner right there should take care of that. Here are the straps. Here's the back of it. So a few scratches right there. I don't know. Probably for that reason, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Cause you know, if I don't sell a purse, guess who gets to keep it? I do. So I don't know on that, and I think we're going to pass because the scratch is on the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Jack George's. Oh, my gosh. you got to be kidding me. Y'all know how great Jack George's is? So look at this right here. And I'm not kidding when I say that. These are some of the best bags, and they are so expensive. And they're kind of like if you find a vintage coach to me finding a vintage one of these tickles me just as much this right here might have a little bit of issues but this is an older version and we are going to buy that jack george i don't know yet what the value of this is but i know that they kind of hold their value pretty well so we are going to get this one we are going to get this one look at that so pretty look at the hardware on it let me take you up close Look at the hardware. So this is going home with CJ. It's a crossbody bag. This is something right here that I could actually carry myself. So they make, I think they make men's too, maybe. But this this could be carried by a man. This is awesome. Love it. Jack George's. Look it up. That brand is really great. And I love them when they're vintage. More so than new. What's this pretty baby right here? Is it? Is it, is it, is it, is it? Look at the straps. Look at the zipper. I'm not thinking it is, but it's cute. Not marked on the inside either. It's like finding fool's gold, right? It's like finding fool's gold. What is this old purse here? Let's see if there's any more Jack Georges around here. Who knows? Juicy Couture. Look at this one. 
is this cutie leather. This is a cute heart emblem. Look at this cute bag. We might have to get that one. And so this to me looks like a vintage Juicy Couture. Look at the handles. Look at this. That's a cute little bag. Show you this direction. The leather's in great condition. Look at that cute bag. And then look at this. I love the hang tag. All leather. So we're getting that one too. And you have this key fob right there. What is this bag here? I don't know what this one is. What is it? Gianni Beanie. Ooh, is this a coach? Look at this old coach. This is crazy. Never seen a coach like this before. Look at this. We have to check that one out. Not sure if this coach is rare or not. I've just never seen one like this. So pebbled leather, brown pebbled leather. Get the hang tag there. You have the coach written on the handles there. The handles are in good condition. Here's the bottom of it. This is just a cute coach, y'all. I just have never seen anything like this. You know, they're usually signature series or something like that. Let's see what the condition is on the inside. So on the inside, you do have some ink stains, but the outside is great. It's an orange color on the inside. And here's the serial number. We're gonna hold on to that and think about it. That's just too cute. So look at that. It is the infamous brown, but they do color code everything. What is this? Let's see if this is anything special. Now this looks like it's leather. Brass plated, is this old? I don't know. So look at the hardware on it, look at this. It says brass plated, but it's like a silver tone. Probably leather. I don't usually sell backpacks, but I can make an exception, possibly. Let's see if there's a designer tag on the inside. Love the hard leather goods. They're always so great. See, look at the inside of this. I don't know. It's great condition, probably handmade. I don't see any labels at all for it. Inside pocket, nothing. It just says brass plated. And look, there's even more over here, y'all. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you, it's purse heaven. Purse heaven. Bag heaven, whatever you want to call it. We're going to pass on this one. Still pretty. But I just wish it had a designer tag. Sometimes I want them, sometimes I don't. And in that case, I would prefer a designer tag. Coach Signature Series here. Cutie Patootie. Yeah, this will be my last thrift store of the day for sure because we're going to be in here quite a while. And I'm going to meet my friend Jill for Daner. Look at this Michael Kors, y'all. Now that's a good looking Michael Kors, ain't it? I was hoping it was Henry Bendel, but it's Alexis Bendel. Hey, never lose hope, right? Never lose hope. Oh, and don't forget to come to those sales on the weekends. We have sales on my channel on the weekends. 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you're new here. Come on out to one of those sales. Oh, look at this. I spoke too soon. Rosetti, New York. She's even wearing New York now on her name. Usually it's just Rosetti. Oh, she wears me out. Ooh, look. Ooh. Look at that. Yes. Yes, ma'am. We are getting it. Yes, ma'am. Look, look, look. Look what great condition that's in. 
nylon. Where's that going? You know where it's going, right there in the bag. Right in the bag, ladies and gentlemen. Purse Heaven. Designer Purse Heaven. I said it first. I said it first. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. Around every corner, y'all. Look at this. Patent leather. Look at the brand. Look at that. Patent leather, black, dooney, and burnt purse. Look how gorgeous that is. Oh my gosh, we aren't getting out of here. I'm telling you, I don't think I've got enough cash to get out of here. I don't think I've got enough cash. Can somebody run down here real quick and let me borrow some money so we can get out of here? Look how pretty that is. And look at the inside. The inside's even prettier. Y'all, look. This has been taken care of. Another coach. It's a beautiful bag too. Let's see what the inside looks like. Looks like it's been taken care of. The outside's a little bit worn on the edges, but still great condition, I think. I definitely have choices to make. If I choose not to get all of those, I've got some serious choices to make at the end of this shopping trip. Serious choices to make. Oh my gosh. Coming up on some, looks like a couple of vintage purses. Oh my gosh, you got to look at all of it. Let's look at this one. And then this one right here. No mark on that one. Let's see what this one is. Look at that hardware. And there is the designer tag for this piece. Great condition. Is that, what do y'all think that is, 1950s? It's great condition though, look at that. I'll think on that one too. Here's another coach. This is pretty too. Not any scratches on the outside of it. Inside is perfect condition, not even an ink stain, so that's a good indication this was taken care of. Here's the tag, serial number. $75 purse, what brand is this? What brand is that? That would be 75 Bueno. Carriage count. Carriage court. Kenneth Cole. What is this beauty right here? It's kind of heavy duty. What is this one? Max, New York. Beautiful black Michael Kors. The inside has a little bit of issues so passing on it for that reason. Don't get blinded by the fact that all of these are black. because Just because something doesn't have a lot of color doesn't mean you shouldn't look at it. What is this beauty right here? Oh my gosh, look and see what I'm talking about. Look at this, y'all. The Purse Whisperer. Look how pretty. There's the back of it. The straps. It's a navy blue, it's not black, this is navy blue. Let's look on the inside. Oh no, no, it has dirt and it's cleaned. 
Mm. I love the outside of it, but that inside is horrible. I'm not sure about this one, y'all. What would you do on one that pretty? Would you care what the inside looked that dirty, or can you clean that? Because there's not any stains on the outside. She's pretty, look at her. Oh, she's that iridescent. Looky, looky, looky at this. It's like a beautiful piece of jewelry. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ralph Lauren, love my doonies. What is this one? BCB, BCG girls. BCBG. This one leather. I don't know if this is leather or not. This is naturalizer. <laughs> Carriage house. Leather Michael Kors. Kenneth Cole reaction. You can usually tell from a distance if a purse is going to be great or not by the leather. Another coach. Crossbody. A little bit stained on the outside and the inside, but the outside looks good. Look at this. It's the straps. Pretty bag. Kate Spade here in the back. Let's see what else we've got. I'm gonna try to take a full shot of this whole purse wall so y'all can see what I'm talking about. You saw the length of it. I'm not kidding when I say Superstore. Bessel, have you ever heard of this? Let's look at this one. find it now oh, gosh I hate that when I lose something where was I at another Michael Kors there's Michael Kors everywhere Michael Kors everywhere y'all what is this leather one here Sonoma Jean Company see look at all that Kidding, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. If you're local, I'll bet you'll be down here shopping. Just look at this Michael Kors right here. Kind of bikerish. Y'all know I'll pick up those bikerish bags. And just so you know, too, they also have bags hanging on the end caps. Also, so they're just everywhere. These are more backpacks. Which y'all saw the other day in that video where I found the, the vintage coach briefcase. So again, don't discount the bags. These either, what is this one? Franco Sardo, look at that, it has purses all over it. Cute, cute, cute.
look, 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 look. Looky, 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 loo. What do you see in front of me? A Tory Burch. That is beautiful. Little Tory Burch in the house. And then look at this section right here. It's even more. Look at this. This is a Kate Spade also. Nouveau York. Look at this. Looks to be in good condition. A little bit of wear on the handle, not wear, just a little bit of the string coming out. Look how great that is. So this is a huge Lucky Brand duffel. Look at this. Great condition. I like Lucky Brand don't know if this somebody would want to use this the inside does have some stains there at the bottom so, yeah and I don't know I guess you could wash this I wouldn't wash the leather up some people have said you can wash the leather I'd honestly prefer not to wash the leather in the washer yes but somehow vintage American collection what do you know about that one Watch your baskets when you're shopping. People shop right out of them. They will. They will dig right in. I'm not kidding. Is this really... Let's see if this is going to be a croc. I mean, not croc, but ostrich. Nope. I got my glasses on and we're working it. We are working it. Is this Brighton? Excuse me, that's mine. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding. So look at this bag here. So this is bright, I believe this is bright and we're about to see. And it is, let's look on the inside. Perfect condition, look at that, no stains whatsoever. It's an awesome purse. I'll show you the belt buckle up close. Like it. So see, even then, you've got to look in these also, because anything could be hidden. Anything could be hidden in here. Like this cute Wilson's leather briefcase. Those are always real leather. Great brand. While we're in the back, after we got through looking at purses, we're just going to run quickly through the what naughty doodads because I can usually spot things pretty quick if it's something I want to look at or buy. But you can see of all, all the selection here. And they have their bagged up goodies if you're a crafter type person. Look at all this. It's just tons. You get all your uh, dining wear here. Bundled and wrapped. Ready to go. These pretty, pretty glasses right here. Look at those wine glasses. Aren't those beautiful? 99 cents each. What a deal. Gorgeous. And these are gorgeous too. Four of these, 99 cents each. Heavy duty, probably older. Oh wow, made in France, y'all. Look at this. France, let me show you. See it right there? Made in France, aren't those great? love those glasses. Look at these right here. What do these say on them? Commonwealth of Kentucky. 
And then you've got these right here. They have the initial P. Those are cute too. Those are $5.99 for eight of them. Pottery made in Italy. And look at this coffee mug, y'all. You've got to be kidding. I don't need any more coffee mugs. I don't. I don't. Look how cute this is. <laughs> so I guess you hold it like this. Or put a succulent in it. I'd say put a succulent in it. This would be pretty to put rings on. Oh, wow, well, it's a tea light. Beautiful hand tea light. Look at him. He's gonna serenade you and this is all concrete or ceramic. Pretty wine glasses here. I have tons of these globes right here. Let's see how much they have on this one, $39. Never seen so many selections of games. Look at all that, whole aisle full. I'm gonna go up here and try to find the jewelry. Maybe look at the purses behind the jewelry counter. If they've got jewelry, they should have, who knows? And if you're a shoe seller, look at these. Michael Kors shoes, $24. I'm gonna check out the art real quick to See what they have. Twenty four karat gold, handmade in Greece. $29, take a look closely at that. Oh, it's like, what is that? Oh my gosh, that just nearly came loose, scared me. I'm gonna be dropping it. Look at this perfume bottle. I wonder if it's okay and not damaged. I am gonna get this, it's Nina Ricci. Right there, Nina Ricci. So we're gonna get that perfume bottle. I also hope that I find paperweights and I usually don't find paperweights. I like that Nina Ricci. Uh, she has great jewelry too, if you've never seen it before. Anybody spot any more perfume bottles? Little trinket box. What did this hold? Did this hold asparagus? Did it, did it, did it? It's cute little elephants. Lots of vases. Look at these little bitty planes. Jet blue. These are heavy. I love. Oh, I love Southwest Airlines so much. Look how cute that is. I love Southwest Airlines. Look how cute. What is this cutie patootie? Paris. Is that a souvenir piece? You can hang jewelry, you can hang earrings on this. You know what? You could like use that as a jewelry hanger. What about this little guy? He's all metal. Oh, that's a Lions Club trophy. And you have another bigger plane right there. It's made to look vintage. So we're gonna look at the jewelry hanging on the wall now. Hopefully we don't miss anything good. Again, just like the purses, I can sometimes go through pretty quick. 
and figure out what I want. Now that's cool. That looks like cherries. I like the cool pieces too. They don't necessarily have to be designer. Look at this beautiful thing. Look at this butterfly. Let me zoom in on this cutie patootie look. Love it. Can we just now call it purse and jewelry heaven? And clothes heaven if that's your, what you're into also. But look how beautiful that piece is. Purse, jewelry heaven, whatever. It's still, it's just great. Oh my gosh, look at this cat necklace. Oh my goodness. Gold tone cat necklaces. You have all different kinds on here. Look at this. All different seating positions, running, faces. Huge necklace. Gangsta. Oh, that's a nice chain. So this is not even the jewelry in the cases. They've got more in the cases. What is this beautiful little thing right here? Oh, that's pretty. Wonder if it's got a designer mark on it. That's a nice necklace there. I like this one too, look at that. It has all purple rhinestones. That's a beauty right there. This one looks old. Don't see a designer mark for it though. I do want to show you other purses behind the counter before we leave also because those are some Louis, maybe some Louis Vuittons or something like that. So this is Amethyst here. Amethyst on a leather chain. Is this one old? I don't know. I don't see a clasp for it. I don't know, hand knotted. It's pretty, not sure if it's old. Not real pearls. Mm, it's hard to see, isn't it? These are pretty earrings, sun and stars. Look at those. On aluminum, I've seen that before. Well, I had a ring once that was aluminum that was on aluminum. Who is this, if anybody? Not marked. This one. It's pretty. And look at the clasp. Pretty necklace. Here's your wallets. Probably not gonna dig through those now because I wanna look at other things, some more jewelry. Lots of watches here. Let's see a fossil, two fossils. Kitty cat watch. I want $99 for that. I wonder who that is. Jewelry bags. Perfume bags, too. We're going to look at the jewelry also and see if there's anything we can't live without. Who knows? Looks like there's some pretty rings in here. That poison A. The leaf is pretty. So. Green, yellow, blue.
Huh? Pretty bag, not real. I don't know what these others are up here. I'm looking at that Brahmin right there on the left, and I want to take a look at it. You've got a Gucci right there too. I might take a look at it real quick. And then that right there looks like a vintage coach. So we'll take a look at those. Green. Look how pretty that is. that one okay do have some wallets here we're gonna take a look at look at this cutie what is this little handbag that's gorgeous this is just too cute and this looks like real leather I don't see any branding on it look how gorgeous this is though and you got this red I mean, I'm sorry, the metal. This is, this is probably really ostrich. Probably really ostrich. Fossil. Genuine leather. What is my age? What is this? Look at this crown that's on here. Is this old? A lot of stuff that you would be surprised when you see compared to this. Look at this, y'all. Work here? I feel like I work at the mall. <laughs> you feel like you work the mall working yeah, here? Yeah, like all the Nike brands, Adidas, we Bentley all. Bentley Motors. We, have Leather, we got all the brands. Special here. edition. Bentley Motors. Huh. No, but. So these are all gold, y'all. All gold. And that was a Bentley bridling, bridling watch. I see here. So I was gonna show you this one that I'm gonna buy. This looks old. It's an old wallet and it's very cool. And in good condition, this is old. There's stuff on the inside that indicates it's old, the way it looks there. But it has this metal piece, or not metal, but the that cute little crown, which made me want it even more. What is this? Another vintage wallet by Bosca, B-O-S-C-A. Now, y'all, this is cute. I'm liking that. So that watch, he said, was valued at 10000 I don't know. And you'd hope, taking a chance on it at 3000 that it is something you can resell because unless you're going to wear it, you know, unless you're going to wear it, I don't see doing it. I don't see doing it. Sack roots. Ooh, a little Dooney wallet. Look at this little Dooney right here, Dooney and Burke. They want 34 on that. Super cute. Pretty red. Just never know, do you? What you're gonna find. Oh, look at this. Why it is not half off? All right, y'all, that's it. So thanks for watching again. And until next video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share. We'll see y'all later.